Hey you guys, it's Britt. Tonight we're here to talk about Jesse James Decker, her sister, her sister's husband, and United Airlines. All in one video. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so we're here to talk about the popcorn catastrophe. This is kind of blowing up all over social media, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say. As usual, I'm always excited to see the comments, but this is one where I think people either fall on one side or the other, and I've seen a lot of mixed opinions, mixed emotions, and that's why we're here to talk about it. So Jesse James Decker is obviously a... Um, famous singer. She's been re in reality TV. I have touched on her before because her um, Reddit page was under some criticism. So I have mentioned her in passing, but I'm sure most of y'all know who she is. And her younger sister is Sydney. Sydney is married to the Toronto Blue Jays pitcher, Anthony Bass. And Anthony decided to take to Twitter um, just a couple of days ago when a United Airlines flight attendant asked for Sydney to clean up after her own children. So I am gonna read parts of this article, but of course I will have some links in my description box in case you guys want to read any further than what I read in this video. But essentially it starts out by saying there's no sense to cry over spilled popcorn, but a few kernels on the floor of an airline caused a social media debate about parenting and entitlement after Sydney Ray Bass, the wife of Toronto, Toronto Blue Jays pitcher Anthony Bass and sister to country superstar Jesse James Decker was made to pick up spilled popcorn that her two-year-old daughter uh, spilled while they were on the United Airlines flight. In a since-expired Instagram story, Decker said her sister was, quote, humiliated while traveling along with her and Anthony Bass's two daughters ages two and five. Her story said, quote, my sister Sydney Ray Bass just texted me from her flight on United, and she tagged United. As you know, she is five months pregnant, high risk, and traveling alone with her two small children. Blair accidentally spilled some popcorn in the aisle, which is the child, and the flight attendant came up to Sydney with a trash bag and a wet wipe, telling her the captain wants Sid to clean up every drop, end quote. That's what Jessie wrote on her Instagram stories. She continued, my poor sister is on her hands and knees, crying in the aisle, Completely humiliated and exhausted with her children while everyone else watched. Way to go, United. In my opinion, allegedly, Jesse, knowing that this was going to be seen by a lot of people, in my opinion, I do think that things might have been a little bit blown out of proportion because if you're mid-flight, I don't think that the captain would be relaying messages to the flight attendant after all, they're busy flying the plane. I don't think that they are that worried about popcorn mess in the aisle in order to tell the flight attendant, oh, this is what I say. So you go tell the passenger, this is what I say. She has to clean up every drop. I think that part was a little blown out of proportion. And as far as nobody else helping, I don't know. No, none of us were on the flight. So who's to say that not a single person helped her? We'll just take her word for face value, but it continued by saying, Anthony also posted about the incident on uh, Sunday in a Twitter post. The incident and their post sparked mixed reactions on social media with some agreeing that United should be responsible for cleaning up the mess while others were coming to the airline's defense, saying that Sydney should clean up after her children. Genuinely curious, who should clean up the mess that your two-year-old made? One person responded on Twitter. As a parent of three kids, I am the one responsible for them. And Anthony decided to respond and say that the cleaning crew they hire are responsible for cleaning up after his children. For whatever reason, something that comes up quite often on my channel is 
people disrespecting service workers. So you guys will know exactly where I stand on this matter. But just because you pay for an airline ticket, that doesn't mean that the flight attendants are your personal maids during your flight. Just because you are um, you know, dining at a restaurant, that doesn't mean that the waiter or waitress is also, you know, going to babysit your children. Decker also clarified in her Instagram story that United Airlines was the one who gave her nieces the popcorn. The flight attendant, according to Sydney, said that it had to be picked up because it's a safety hazard. Mm, I don't really know if a flight attendant would call popcorn a safety hazard, but continuing on, Decker also called in a question why, if it's a safety hazard, why are they giving popcorn on the flight? United Airlines responded to Anthony's Twitter post and the picture later confirmed in a tweet that the airline is taking care of matters with the flight attendant internally. I am going to be so pissed off if United fires that flight attendant. And I think that social media will be as well. He and Sydney announced last month that they are expecting their third child, a baby boy, due this summer. I feel like this is such a good example of what privilege really looks like with wealthy people. There is no reason why, there. there's a couple things that could have happened. Number one, if your wife is high risk and she's ex going through this pregnancy and she needs to travel, why not hire a nanny? to travel with her. If things are so overwhelming, and I'm sure that they are, going through a high-risk pregnancy, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. But if she is overwhelmed and you have the financial means to do so, why not hire a nanny to help out? Number two, this guy has paid millions and millions and millions of dollars. He's a professional baseball player. Why not fly a private jet? I'm not a fan of private jets because I think that they are just like the the most elitist, just there are a lot of issues with, you know, these super wealthy people flying private all of the time, but why not hire a nanny? Let's talk for a second about the word humiliated because Jesse wanted to say that this was humiliating to Sydney to have to clean up after her own children. I have seen quite a few things that would be considered humiliating online. And I don't think that cleaning up after your own children is something that I would call humiliating. I would call that the role of a parent. If you're taking your children on a flight and they make a mess, you clean up after them. If you take your children to the movie theater and they make a mess, you clean up after them. Now, maybe some people think that the flight attendants are automatically housekeepers as well, and that seems to be what these, um, all of the adults in this situation think it, it, what's going on here. Flight attendants are not your personal maid. They're not your nanny. They're not your waiter. They are not there to pick up after your children. I think that this is going to end up really backfiring. I, I, in my mind, I think that he thought that a lot more people would be on his side, but there are so many other people aside from me who don't like to see service workers disrespected, and many people think along the same lines, and that is pick up after your kids. You are responsible for your children. You don't uh, just allow them to make mess everywhere and expect people to clean up after them. And if your wife is so overwhelmed and going through a high-risk pregnancy and having to travel alone with two, two children, you all have the financial means to hire a nanny. But instead, you want to bitch about it on social media. You want to make it a really, really big deal, yell and scream and have a little temper tantrum to the point where... Now, United has been blasted on social media for something that was not that flight attendant's fault. And I really hope the flight attendant is not going to be fired. I think it's great that the flight attendant stood up for themselves. And I, I don't really know who to believe here. I don't know if I should believe that not a single person offered to help. I, 
you know, usually when I'm out in public, if you see someone make a mess, like there are a few people who come and offer some help. I'm not sure. I have a feeling that this was a situation that happened. They were unhappy. So things got blown out of proportion and it also ended up backfiring because I think that they look like privileged, wealthy little brats. And I have seen quite enough of this. During my time on social media, these, you know, wealthy, privileged people who think, oh, I have kids, so you need to bow down to me. You need to uh, clean up after me because I bought a flight. I bought a ticket. Welcome to reality. I'm glad that the flight attendants stood up for themselves. So either way, I really want to know how you guys feel about this. But for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.